welcome to another session of Kids Church. This I am Miss E, and this is Zoe. Zoe. All right. So today we are gonna know. We're gonna learn that God knows us. We're gonna see how God would uh, formed us in our mother's body. So God created us before. Even our mom knew we were there. God already was creating us in our mother's body. So, Zoe, can you tell me about something that you created? I know. Oh, so Zoe created, let me get it. Zoe created this Christmas tree picture during Christmas time. And so she knew what she for, was going to... For, for mom. Mm-hmm. Zoe already knew what she was going to draw, and she already knew who she was going to give it to, and she created it the same way God created us. So we're going to go to the Bible first, and we're going to go to Psalms, which is right dab in the middle of the Bible. Halfway through is Psalms. All right, and we're going to go to Psalms 1. 39. First of all, is Psalms in the Old Testament or the New Testament, Zoe? Old Testament. Old Testament, yes. And the chapter is 139. Is that a big number or a small number? Big number. Big number. All right, we're going to go down to verse 13. Is that a big number or a small number? First, small number. A small number. Okay, so we are going to read, and it says, You, meaning God, created the deepest parts of my being. You put me together inside my mother's body. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that very well. None of my bones was hidden from you when you made me inside my mother's body. That place was dark and deep as parts of the, uh, as, deep, as dark as the deepest parts of the earth. When you were putting me together there, your eyes saw my body even before it was formed. So this David is saying that, that God knew us whenever you were just a little tiny speck. God knew you. Even before mommy knew you were there, God was already forming us in our mother's body. So we're going to do something today to kind of show that example. We're going to make Play-Doh. And hold on, hold on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some ingredients and we're going to show how like God formed us. So we're going to get a one and a one and a third cup of flour and we're going to put that in. Then we're going to get half a cup of salt. And we're going to dump that in. Then we're going to get two tablespoons of cream of tartar. And we're going to dump that in. Mom, now, nope. All right, so uh, I need a spoon. Nemi, can you get me a spoon? Nemi's my cameraman, so he's going to hand me a spoon. Okay, so Zoe, why don't you start squishing that around? Now, what I'm going to get, what I'm going to do, is we are going to we're going to use sugar-free jello. Now, this is black cherry, so we're not sure exactly what color it's going to turn out to be. So we are going to open this, and Zoe, why don't you cut that open, and we have a cup of boiling water. So Zoe is going to put that jello 
right in the boiling water. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever, oil. Put it in there. And I'm gonna dump out the tablespoon of oil. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna mix that up. Now guys, this is what God, God was, we already know what we're gonna make, right? We already know that when we're done, we're gonna have Play-Doh. Just like God already knew who you were gonna be, what you were going to do in your life, he already knew that. So he was whipping them up, whip, whipping us up in our mother's body, just like we are whipping up this Play-Doh. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we are just going to stir that up. Okay, let me see, for the sake of time, I'm going to come in and start whipping it up. So, Zoe, can you think of anything else you created? How about whenever you made eggs for the first time? That was an experience, right? Yeah. Yeah. But not by myself. Yeah, mommy had to help you, but some of the parts, but you did a lot of it yourself. So. Yeah, like, well, you had to flip it over sometimes. Yeah. But now I know how to flip it over. Yeah. So we are still continuing to mix. Just like, it took nine months, right? It took nine months for God to create us in our mother's tummies. It took him nine months. My mom would always say that the baby was cooking in there. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever the nine months were up, she'd say, are you done cooking? So, but during that time, we were being formed and wonderfully and beautifully made. All right, so now, hold on Zoe, this is really sticky still. So what I need to do is put a little bit of flour to kind of make it not so sticky. All right, hold on, this is like really sticky. Yeah. You have to wash your hands after this. Yeah, no joke. All right, so it's still really sticky. Hold on. Woo. It's not that sticky. Look, Mom. It's not that mm -hmm. sticky. I'm putting a little bit more flour. All right, so God was in our mom's body kneading us into who we are and who we're going to be. So that's really fascinating to know that God was our creator, just like we're the creator of this Play-Doh. God was the creator of us. And he knows everything about us, even things that we don't tell anybody he knows. I used to think about that when I was y'all's age. I would think to myself, if I go into a closet and tell a secret, would God know? And I remember asking my grandma that because she was my Sunday school teacher and she said, yep, even if you go into a dark closet, God knows what you're doing and he knows what you're thinking. And if you tell a secret in a closet, God knows the secret. He even knows what we're thinking in our mind. He can read our minds, he knows. So that's a fascinating thing to know that the God that created everybody and everything knows us personally and he cares for us. And he loves us. So now we have our Play-Doh. Now we can play with it. Now 
It's fully made, just like we were fully made and formed by God. So hopefully this gives you a little example of how God made us. We knew that we were going to make Play-Doh, just like God knew that he was going to create us. Then we put the ingredients together, just like God put all our bones in our body, all our organs, our heart, our kidneys, everything in our body, just like we put the jello and the flour and the salt in this Play-Doh. And then once it was all said and done, we had Play-Doh and God had us. That's wonderful news. So let's pray, Zoe. That way we can let everybody have some time to think about what we just learned. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for making us wonderfully and beautifully made. Thank you, Lord, that you know us. It's in your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Amen.